We begin with new information about puppy sales at a popular metro flea market. We've been investigating sales of pets at the old Paris flea market. Changes have recently been made to outdoor sales, but customers tell us about alarming health issues with pet sales from a longtime seller who operates inside the flea market. News Force Kaylee Olivas has the new information. Since our last report on the Old Paris flea market, outdoor dog sellers are no longer allowed. However, there are now issues brewing on the inside with their only indoor dog seller. <laughs> One Old Paris flea market customer who was unavailable for an interview says she purchased a puppy from the indoor seller three weeks ago, only to find out it had contracted coccidia, an intestinal parasite that causes severe diarrhea and dehydration. And we've seen really young baby kittens and really young puppies die from it. The old Paris flea market seller says they are aware of their dogs contracting this disease, blaming it on issues they can't control. If a puppy goes through uh, a stress, they can get coccidia. It's real, it's real easy to treat. But veterinarian Cherie Payne says coccidia has nothing to do with stress, but instead neglect and poor hygiene. And it's the dehydration and not getting it taken care of in time because um, some people are told it's stress so they just wait around and wait around and these poor things are getting dehydrated from the diarrhea. The result for unsuspecting buyers is usually a hefty vet bill. I take care of the vet bill and pay for it. The puppy seller says he will take the dog back and quote replace it with a new one but that didn't happen with the buyer we talked to. The Better Business Bureau has six complaints in the past three years with this seller. They're also named as repeat offenders on the 2022 Horrible 100 list for puppy mills and sellers in the U.S., according to the National Humane Society. In Oklahoma City, Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. And that seller, Deuce Ranch LLC, claims the 2022 Horrible 100 is inaccurate. And they say they're planning to sue the U.S. Humane Society if it's not taken down. We've reached out to the Humane Society and are awaiting a response.